In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create a drag and drop activity. So here I have the fractions along the bottom and the images along the top. So I can drag and drop the fractions so that they match the images. The key to this is creating a different text box for each answer. So I'm going to go to the T. If you're at your computer, you might find it easier to type right on the keyboard. If you're standing at the board, you can hit this key to have an on-screen keyboard pop-up. When working with text, you have this Microsoft Word looking menu across the top here, where you can change the color, um, the size, if it's bold, things like that. So if I stay on the T when I click again, I get a new text box. So I could click right here and get a new text box. So because I added each of these as separate text boxes, I can move them around. If I just hit return, this is actually all one text box. So now these two things move together. If you've accidentally done this, there's a shortcut. Click on it so you can see your cursor blinking and highlight the part you want to pull out. Then touch and hold and move it over um, with a click and hold. So now it's making another text box and I can delete that one. Now I have 7 eighths and 1 fifth in separate text boxes. For example, here's one with letters, with words. So students can come over here and grab different beginnings of words and put them into the different boxes. One thing I would do here is I would make these drag a copies so that you had a lot more options. So I'm going to click on one, I'm going to click on the menu here, and I'm going to click on drag a copy. Because pro could go in process or in proceed. For this to work, you need to be in presentation mode. So I'm in presentation mode now. And you can see now it has a hand with a little green plus. Process, proceed. If I click on this one, same thing, menu, drag or copy. Here's another drag and drop example um, with text and with images. Just remember to put each text into a different text box. Thanks for watching today's quick active tip. Check out our website for more information about how we can help your school with professional development.